Good morning. I wanted to create a quick video on how to publish a book on Kindle Direct Publishing. So the first thing, once you log into my account, you're going to go to Create, click on Create, and then click on Create Paperback. Once this opens, um, you will leave the language as English. The book title, I'm going to provide you a Word document that looks like this. It will give you all of the descriptive words and areas that you'll need to fill in. So what you'll do is you will copy and paste from here and then you will go to the book title and copy and paste in here. In here it's going to ask you to add a file name. As you can see on the Word document it's highlighted here. What you'll do is the uh, file doc that I will give you access to. You're just going to copy and paste the cover title. So for this one, for example, it is Vintage Dragonflies Botanical Illustration. So in the title on the Kendall Publishing, you are going to type in Vintage Dragonflies uh, Botanical Illustration. And that's what you'll make sure that you add there. Okay. For the subtitle, you don't need to add anything. For series detail, you won't need to put anything. For edition number, you don't need to add anything. For the author's name, you're going to put B period, skip the middle name, and the last name, Cybert. You don't need to put anything in the suffix. For contributors, you won't need to add anything there. For the description, go back to the Word document and under description, just copy and paste everything that's in here. Just like that. For publishing rights, it's always going to be this is a public domain work. For adult only content, you're always going to check no. For reading age, you don't need to worry about that. You won't need to select a minimum or maximum. For the primary marketplace, make sure Amazon.com is selected. And then for the categories, you are going to go back to the Word document and it'll have the categories listed here. You can select three categories and for each one there should be three categories that you can select that I've listed. So the first one, this is how you'll navigate to it. Um, so this one is books teen and young adult education and reference and language arts. So if we go back to the uh, KDP page, you'll click on choose categories. It's always going to start with books so you don't have to worry about that. So the next one we need to look for is teen and young adult. So if we go to category and we look through here, go all the way down to teen young adult. And then under the subcategory, it is going to be education and reference. So for here, we go to education and reference, and then we look here, and it's going to be language arts. So we select the subcategory of language arts, and then in here, you can just select composition and creative writing. Hit um, to do the next category, you'll go to add category and you'll go back through the same thing for the other two. Once you're done, you'll hit save categories. And for this, you are going to always select low content book. And then you'll copy and paste in the keywords. So the keywords are part of um, down here. So you'll just copy and paste the keywords into the your keyword section for the composition notebook which is the one that i'm showing you the example of there is some highlighted ones so for this one <clears throat> it says to add the main theme so if we go here and we look at the title again and go back up and we selected vintage dragonflies botanical illustration so for this one it's going to be dragonflies and so for the main theme, we're going to type in dragonfly. If you have any question on what the main theme is going to be, 
don't hesitate to reach out to me and I can always help assist you and direct you in which one it, you should select. So you'll copy and paste all of these in there um, so that they all are listed and then you'll hit save and continue. Once that is done saving, it will go ahead and move you to the next page, which is the paperback content. So you are going to go ahead and publish without an ISBN. You don't need to worry about that. For the publication date, just go ahead and click on the calendar. It should highlight the day that you're working it on and go ahead and select that. For print options, you don't need to do anything here. It should always default to black and white interior with white pages. Just make sure that's the one that's selected. For the trim size, I will make sure that I tell you what the trim size is. I will add that to the KDP details. But for this one, it's going to be 7.5 by 9.25. For bleed settings, you are going to need to select bleed the PDF only and for this one it's going to be matte that is also something that I will include in this uh, KDP detail word doc next you're gonna upload the paperback manuscript so in the folder that I'll provide access to it's going to have the interior that is what you're going to upload in the manuscript. So you'll click on this. You'll go ahead and upload the manuscript from your um, pay or from your file. So let's go back. And so it's going to be the interior. You'll have to wait for it to upload. This may take a minute. Sometimes it's quicker uh, than other times. But once it's saved successfully, then you can go down to the book cover. What you'll do is you're going to click on upload a cover you already have. So I will provide this to you. It will be in the folder. You're going to upload the cover file. And so for this one, we're uploading the vintage Dragonfly Botanical Illustration. And then it takes just a minute for that to upload. And once that is uploaded, you should see um, both of these boxes uploaded here and here. So once it says that, sometimes it takes it a minute, you will need to go ahead and launch the preview. So launching the previewer can take a couple of minutes. Um, so as it is launching, go ahead and wait. Um, it's going to prepare all of the files. It's going to um, make sure everything is uploaded correctly. So we'll wait here for just a minute until this uploads. It can take a minute or two for all of the files to be there and for them to check the quality, if there are any quality issues, things of that nature. So we'll just give it a minute and we'll go ahead and let it upload. All right, once it uploads, it's going to look like this. What you want to make sure is that there isn't anything highlighted in red over here. Um, sometimes it will tell you that the border isn't correct or the trim size isn't correct. Just go back, um, exit out of the print previewer and make sure that you've selected the right trim size, that you've selected the right interior. So all you're going to do is look make sure it uploaded so making sure that everything is here and then you're going to go ahead and select approve once you do that it's going to go ahead and take you back to the main screen so when you're here you don't need to worry about anything in the summary you're just going to click save and continue and when you click save and continue, it's going to take you to the last page. So this is the paperback rights and pricing. 
So you're going to select all territories. This will have worldwide rights. And then um, in the primary market, just make sure Amazon.com is selected there. And then for the Amazon pricing, I will go ahead and tell you what the price of the book will be. I will make sure to include that in the KDP detail or doc that I provide you. But for this one, it's going to be $6.99. So you're going to go ahead and select that. And then it will show you all of the rates are converted to the different countries that they're located in. Just make sure that is all filled out. And then you don't need to worry about terms and condition and you don't need to worry about request of uh, book proof. All you're going to do is go ahead and click save as draft. And this will allow me to go back in and check to make sure everything looks good. And then we can uh, move on to the next book. So you'll just hit bookshelf at the top, just like I did. And then you'll go ahead and click create. And then you can go ahead and draft the next listing. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please just uh, go ahead and message me and I can get those answered for you. Thank you.